So next is, you have gone through this phase for seven years. Yes, sir. So these seven years, what was motivating you? So seven years is kind of a big lifetime. In a student lifetime, it is almost one fourth of his lifetime. Yes, sir. You gave for this exam. Yes, sir. I always tell to the students, success in this is a, is a game of consistency. Yes, sir. Game of confidence. Yes, sir. Students have, will give up after one or two attempts. Yes, sir. But what motivated you for seven attempts? Yes, sir. So one reason was inspiration. Uh, DCs of my district did great work. They earned respect. So that uh, thought of earning respect uh, rather than someone giving respect, earning respect was the main motivation for me. So I thought that this is the best platform uh, where I can earn a lot of respect by doing good uh, things, taking good initiatives. And the other thing is that as a person uh, through this journey, you can improve. I was improving. I, I used to uh, observe myself that, okay, this is where I am being humble rather than being arrogant. So this is where I'm accepting things rather than expecting things to be otherwise. Expectations always leads to disappointment. This is what I learned. And then accepting whatever happens, as it is, uh, that increases our happiness. So as a whole whole person, person and personality, uh, I improve. Uh, this was the motivation behind uh, all the success. Apart from this, the outside environment, um, the guidance uh, with one-on-one -on -one mentorship with uh, you I had, with others, uh, experts which I had, that was also a motiving, uh, motivating experience that if they could do, I can also do. And then the other in, uh, external environment was family, family support, their belief in me, that was exp uh, trusting me towards excellence. Okay, they believe in you. If they believe in you, why can't you believe in yourself? So, uh, strengthen your self-belief and try to grow, uh, learn and then uh, improve and uh, make the life for better. Very good, very yes, good. Sir.